Hello and welcome to pre-season ahead of the 2025 Formula 1 season. We are here in Bahrain, three days of testing. Let's see what the teams have been up to over the winter break. Mercedes come into 2025 as the reigning Constructors' Champions after winning the Constructors' Championship for a ninth time. They once again look to have a quick car again this season, topping the first two days of testing with very little issues with the car, only a hydraulic leak on the final day being their only setback. Mercedes just missed out on the Drivers' Championship last season with George after his great battle with Brown, but they hope this car will allow George to get his first or Lewis's eighth Drivers' title and do the double for the first time since 2020. Lamborghini come into 2025 with Formula 1's newest world champion in Brown. It would also be an all-world champion lineup for Lamborghini as Michael Schumacher makes his second return in Formula 1. It is rumoured that after after watching some British driver either break or equal his records, he wants them back. Lamborghini has marked Schumacher's return by sporting a one-off champion's livery for the Bahrain Grand Prix. This also means Aaron Barnes has gone back to his reserve driver role. The team had a strong test, completing the most amount of laps along with topping the final day as well. Brown hopes this car will allow him to get back-to-back -back world titles and take them to their first constructors title. Ferrari had a poor season in 2024 by their own standards, finishing P3 in the constructors championship, but whilst having a winless season, Season despite picking up multiple podiums. They look to be way off the front teams this season once again, finishing P6 on all three days of the test whilst having multiple issues with the car. However, can this car take them back to the top? Only time will tell. The Aston Martin in the hands of Fernando Alonso in 2024 was able to get to the top as Alonso picked up three wins in a row and multiple podiums. They are hoping to start 2025 as they ended 2024 and they look to have built a strong car this season as they were setting times challenging the top teams and being second fastest on a day two of the test. This has raised questions over Stroll as he got 38 points last season compared to Alonso's 170 points. Points. If the Aston Martin car really is quick, they need two drivers who can push the car forward, but will Stroll step up? Red Bull had a horrible season in 2024, having their first winless season since 2008 and only getting two podiums in Spain and Mexico. Sergio Perez has now retired and Red Bull have signed themselves the perfect number two driver in Valtteri Bottas from Alfa Romeo who was out of contract. This year's Red Bull still looks to be off the pace. Some issues with the car did set them back on the final day of the test. McLaren wasn't happy with their 2024 season finishing P6 in the standings as they want to be back at the front. The car looks to be quick this season as they finished the test strong finishing P2 on the final day and having no issues with the car. Andre Stellan knows it is critical they get the car right this year as Lando and Oscar aren't going to stick around forever in an uncompetitive car. Alpine was very much in the midfield fight in 2024 but once again finished the season off strong with a podium in Vegas. They're hoping they have taken a step forward this year as the Alpine board are starting to get frustrated with the lack of progression in its F1 program. But it didn't look good in testing as the car was constantly in the garage with an Issue as they completed the least amount of laps during the test. Alfa Romeo coming into 2025 have big shoes to fill due to Bottas leaving for Red Bull as the Finn picked up 25 points last season compared to Joe's four. After his short spell in World Endurance Racing, after leaving Lamborghini, Yuki Tsunoda returns to Formula 1 with Alfa Romeo. However, the Japanese driver could have his work cut out this year as the car looks to be off the pace but they did manage to complete the test without any issues. Williams were anonymous in 2024 as they once again were towards the back but with this year's car they are hoping to start moving up the grid with a reliable car they could do just that. Haas had a shocking 2024 season with neither Magnus and Walter Fries being able to get a point in the car. They believe they can go forward but Gunter Steiner said in an interview they would be realistic and know the car isn't going to be a world beater at the first race but hope by the final race of the season they can be more in the midfield fight. 
The team believes they have a car concept that they can build on now. Reliability though was troubling the team, but hopefully they can sort that out before the first race. AlphaTauri were the second team to be pointless in 2024, which is now two seasons running. They haven't scored a single point. There were question marks over the future of Fittipaldi and Lawson, but Christian Horner and Helmut Marco believe there is no no one else ready in the young driver program to replace them. The car once again looks to be the slowest on the grid as they were slowest on all three days of the test and a very unreliable car it looks to be a long season ahead of its sister Red Bull team. Formula 1 announced another 16 race season for the 2025 Formula 1 season. We will start off here in Bahrain before going to Saudi Arabia for the first time in the career mode before we go down under to Australia and return to China for the first time since 2019 which was F1's 1000th race. Before we make our first trip to Europe for Monaco and Spain, then we go to Canada, then we go to Britain and Belgium to finish off the first half of the season. We head straight to Monza after the summer break for the Italian Grand Prix, then it's the Singapore with its all new layout. Then we head back to the Middle East for Qatar, then it's on to Mexico and Brazil before we have a late European race in Portugal. We then end the season off back in the Middle East for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. That's testing done then ahead of the 2025 Formula 1 season. Who will have the best car? Can Brown make it back to back world titles? Will Mercedes do the double? And can Red Bull get to back towards the front? Or will Aston Martin be a surprise? We will have to wait and see how the season plans out. It all starts here for the Bahrain Grand Prix.